Okay. And this uh, rain cover, even though I don't really need it on the Ultra, I will like it because I don't like my pat getting all wet and dirty outside. However, it looks ridiculous like some cheap shower cap from a cheap hotel. But it wasn't cheap because it's in the pack. And look how fluffy my pack is. I think I just put a pound of cheese and butter in it too. So now it's like 31. Bye. Last chance for bathrooms um, that aren't exactly clean. Water and uh, Coca-Cola, because then you come up here and the approach trail starts up here. It says, you know, AT approach trail and the hike in trail. Sounds like fun. Let's do it. Okay, I lowered this and it's still kind of up in my face. If I had the smaller bottle right there, it would be easier, obviously. So I probably switch those around because I do have an extra. Um, right now, as I'm taking a little breather on this tiny ridge, let's talk about my Garmin. Um, finally confirmed that messages were coming, are going out for tracking and um, messages out or in from him, my husband. Um, I got it in 2019, so it's the original mini messenger, not the two that's out now. I don't understand the difference, but this is working fine. However, don't do what I did. I did this in 2020 where I did not test it until the last minute and I found out it was dead. And I sent it to Garmin, they replaced it for free, sent it to Mountain Crossings, and it arrived the day everything shut down on March 17th. So um, I got it on my way out of town back to Colorado uh, and it works great. But yeah, I remember to check for updates at home by your laptop and not when you get to Amakalola Lodge or wherever you're gonna be the night before you're stepping out on the trail. It's fine. Um, but also make sure you have the right cable to charge it. It's kind of finicky, um, or at least mine is. So uh, not a cheap one that you got at the gas station. And that includes Bucky's. Um, so, yeah. So remember to check your Garmin. It works great, but just don't wait last minute. I love these little green mountain laurel tunnels and of course the rhododendron tiles. I just had one. It's like the first one you have coming up past the falls. That was nice. I almost took a picture, but I didn't. Uh, uh, there'll be plenty more. So I stopped at Publix, and guess what I got? I got a pub sub. I always said I was gonna do that, and I thought I did before, but maybe I got it just for dinner. But yes, this is first lunch, and then I'll have second lunch at like 2.30 on a rest break. So, yay, pub sub, hike day. It's one o'clock and I am at Black Gap Shelter. Kind of going slow, but I'm also kind of doing it on purpose. I'm only going to Spring Mountain Shelter, so I rush it. But I'm gonna stop here and have a little pack off break. Maybe the second half of my sandwich. I can't believe I ate the first one. So it might be too soon to eat this, but I'm definitely gonna have a snack. I need to remember to eat, uh, I don't know if this is supposed to be a water source, but I guess I should look at that. Um, yeah, let's see, let's look at this. I didn't eat my sandwich 
but I did eat some walnuts, salted dark chocolate walnuts. I probably won't get these again. Uh, another hiker named Kyle through Hiker just went to go check the water source here at Black Gap. We'll see what his report is. We're not staying here though. I'll take your picture if you'll take mine. All right. Well, we could do a big. Uh... Okay, so officially on the Appalachian Trail now. Just signed the register, tap a Springer. Um, you know, it's kind of nice to go the approach trail now. It's like, now that I've done it again, not so bad. Would I do it again? No. But I survived. I'm gonna get to Springer before it starts raining. And I think I might be able to set up my hammock so I can avoid the infamous mice of Springer Manor. So, uh, there's two guys still, Peter now and Kyle again from Black Gap Shelter. It was nice to go up there with other people for photos too. So, doo -doo -doo.